Redondo, the world's oldest Chinatown. Every major city in other countries may have a Chinatown, but there is no Chinatown quite like Redondo in the city of Manila. Binondo is considered as the China of the Philippine Islands. Founded in 1594, it is the oldest Chinatown in the world. It has become the melting pot of almost all the commercial and the voice of both Chinese and Filipino merchants. Long before Makati City became the business district of Metro Manila, it was Binondo for the first four centuries since its establishment. It is the undisputed center of wholesale and retail trading for commodities because of its strategic location. The district was also the first stop of the Chinese immigrants who settled and found a new life in Manila. With the coming of these immigrants, a new culture was introduced. Every year, the streets of Minondo Chinatown became busy as the Chinese New Year approaches. Binondo having its own character will give you an experience of a different culture, full of colorfulness, different smells, and rich history while walking on its chaotic streets. Binondo is also known for the foods that they sell. Most of the foods you can find at Binondo are Chinese cuisine. Famous Chinese foods like dumplings, Chinese pancake, dim sum, Chinese lumpia, and many more can be found everywhere in Pinondo. So right now, I am here at Pinondo Church, also known as Minor Basilica of St. Lorenzo Ruiz. This church was founded by Dominican priests and it is one of the most oldest churches here in Manila.
Binon the Church was founded by Dominican priests in 1596 to serve their Chinese converts to Christianity. The church has been reconstructed many times due to natural calamities and only the bell tower is what remained of the original 16th century structure. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, who was born of a Chinese father and a Filipino mother, trained in this church and afterwards went as a missionary to Japan where he and his companions were martyred for refusing to renounce Christianity. Ruiz is the Philippines' first saint and was canonized by Pope John Paul II in 1987. This location right here is the plaza of Saint Lorenzo Ruiz. This plaza is the center of Binondo and it is bounded by the Binondo Church. Plaza San Lorenzo Ruiz is a major public square in Binondo, Manila. Originally called the Plaza de Binondo and then Plaza Carlos IV after Charles IV of Spain, the plaza was eventually renamed Plaza Calderon de la Barca after the famous Spanish playwright. It is believed that the plaza may have been renamed after Calderon either by the then sitting governor general or by the Dominican friars who were at the time running the Minondo church who had adored his works. The plaza was renamed after Lorenzo Ruiz, one of the martyrs of Japan and the proto-martyr of the Philippines on September 12, 1981. Binondo is also the home of the Filipino-Chinese Friendship Arch which can be found when entering Binondo. This arch symbolizes the peace and prosperity of Filipinos and the Chinese in Binondo. The Chinese is often regarded as business-savvy people. This can be seen at Binondo, where there are plenty of businesses established. There are a lot of local businesses in Binondo, but what people may or may not know Divisoria is a part of Binondo and it is where majority of these local businesses gathered. Divisoria is where items can be found and purchased at a lower value price and which Filipinos go and shop time and time again. Also, one of the main businesses in Binondo is the Lucky Chinatown Mall in which most or majority of the local and foreign citizens gather and spend time on their days off. 
The food in Binondo consists of many, many Chinese delicacies. Restaurants often serve these kinds of food. There are also stores that sell Chinese processed food. These stores are like Sadi Sadi stores but with Chinese products instead. Though in the streets of Binondo, you can still see remnants of Filipino food. Tusok Tusok, Boko and etc. can be found in the streets of Binondo. We got the opportunity to try one of the restaurants in Binondo and here is what happened. So hey guys, as you can see in front, um, we have two dishes here which is the pork and shrimp shomai. And this one is the shrimp hakao here in Ingbitin. And, and Great Buddha Cafe. Yes. And we also have uh, Hopia Mungo. Mungo. Focus. There. Oh. So, let's eat. Gonna try the pork and shrimp show my first. Parang si. Parang And now I will taste this. What is this? Shrimp hakao. Shrimp, shrimp hakao. Yes. Best seller here in the in, Great Buddha Cafe. Yes. Yeah. And sure, eh? Kalasang, ano? Ah. Lasang shrimp. <laughs> Our boss, Mr. Kyle, <laughs> is going to taste test the food. <laughs> to be honest, the ano, shomai outside tastes better. What shomai outside? Then give five pesos shomai. shomai yeah. I'm gonna taste the hakao, this shrimp hakao. It tastes identical. Now we will taste test this, this hopia. Money popcorn. Where y'all get your hop down? Mr. Kyle, get your hop down, like. Mr. Kyle. Mr. Kyle. Thank you. Now we will taste as this hop down. What can you say about the hop down, Miss Vaai? I like it. It tastes good. I like it like that. <laughs> this is hard. This is the best food um, I've tasted here in Ingbit delicious but it's kind of on par with copia that's like outside. It can be bought outside, yeah. But this is not the only restaurant here in Binondo. It, this is one of the most famous ones. This in between place. And Great Buddha Cafe is one of, it's one of the most, let's say, successful businesses here in Binondo. Go eat. Since this is a pork and shrimp um, shomai, it has little shrimps inside and a mixture lot of, of shrimp and pork, obviously. I we forgot to mention the price. This is 129 and this is 158. Yeah, 158 and this is 46 pesos. So now you know. What are your final thoughts? Um, I think the um, the food is like too pricey um, we can find better like similar foods that taste better than this which is cheaper yeah yeah so that's our final thought at the end of the day Minondo is still the oldest Chinatown in the world and remaining as one of the most successful cities in Manila filled with small and large businesses run by the Chinese or Filipinos this is Marielle Vai and this is Binondo. <laughs>